Hey guys, what's up? This is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, guys, today we're going to look at the question, all switch boxes require neutrals? That's the term being around, thrown around lately. You got to have a neutral. You got to have a neutral. You got to have a neutral. Well, sorry to bust your bubble. No, you don't. You don't have to have a neutral if you can hit any of these points. So what the code is wanting us to do is provide a neutral, okay, for these new electronic switches, electronic dimmers, all these different things that may require a neutral or anything like the new switches that control fans or anything like that that may require a neutral. The problem problem is, is if they don't have one in the box, often people who don't understand the dangers will uh, ride that neutral current out on a bare ground, right? And then we've got problems with objectional current. But I want you guys to know the code. Don't just do things because people tell you to do them. I want you to know the code, then you can make the call for yourself. Now, before I even tell you the code and what the score is, this is a non-issue, right? All the time nowadays. Now, you know, sometimes if you are rewiring, you may not. But almost every time, if you're doing a new house, that, that box is going to have a neutral in it, so we're not even having a discussion. But I, I rewire a lot of houses, and what happens is, is sometimes it's easier just to drop a switch leg. And the question, can I legally do that? So do all switch boxes require neutrals? The answer is no, because there are points right here. We find ourselves in 404.2C, uh, and we find ourselves right there. And what it states is, is that you're required to have a neutral inside the box, and it tells you why you're supposed to do it unless you hit any of the following points. And there's five different points here. And if you hit any of these points, you're not required to have the neutral in the box. The first one being where the conductors enter the box or switch. Raceway, provide uh, a raceway where it's large enough to fit that conductor if you can do it later. So let's say I ran a piece of three quarter and I ran it over to a switch box and I didn't want to pull the neutral that day for whatever. And I've only got four wires in that pipe and it allows, you know, 13. So legally I can fit that neutral later and I can fish it later with the fish tape, whether it's easy or hard, the code doesn't care. Okay. But it's saying that it's possible. So if it's possible through a raceway or a conduit, a possible to fish a wire in and the pipe fill is not going to be affected by me adding that neutral conductor, then I don't have to fish it in today. I can just fish over the switch legs, leave it alone, and if somebody else wants to fish in a neutral later, they can do it. The second point here is if the box or enclosure is accessible without damaging the finishing surface. So what it's staying here is that if I can fish a wire there later then I, without damaging the surface, then I don't have to have a neutral inside that box. Well, let me ask you a question. If I'm doing a rewire on a house and I can fish a wire there one time, can I fish a wire there again? And the answer is yes. Now, if you run into a scenario where you have a two-story building, okay, and you're not going to be able to access it above or below, because remember, below counts too. If I can get in the crawl space and fish it up without damaging the outer surface, and if you're a good electrician, you can fish wires just about any anywhere as long as it's physically possible without tearing the house up or messing with the finished you know surface sometimes you got to modify it a little bit but for the most part we can get a wire there right even if we got to take the box out of the wall or whatever all right so here's the score guys the answer is no you do not have to put a neutral inside of every box now is it practical to yes should we probably do it yes are we required to by code no as long as you can hit any one of these five points i gave you the most common ones that you're going to run into today you can read the other ones you'll find yourself in 404.2 see i'm the electrical code coach i hope you guys have a great day we're getting close to the end of the week let's get to it hey guys i just want to remind you that i offer free coaching for anyone who needs help in life or business if you just want to email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com let's get to it